Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And today in front of us, we have some nice Italian cookies that came from an Italian pastry shop. But really, we're here to celebrate this new machine, this new espresso machine by Torre Espresso in Italy that will make all other machines obsolete. And uh, basically, this has some functionality and some features that will do that. So we introduce today the Torre Papina Evo Premium or Premium Evo, whichever you want to call it. Uh, we worked with Torre. Uh, I know the owner uh, for a good number of years. Uh, he started his company a few years ago after working for some other companies for uh, a bunch of years, probably mid 2000s, late 2000s, 2009, something like that. Those details are not as important to me as the details of the espresso machine. So when we were talking uh, to Tori and um, we said, you know, we like the machines, but we want something that comes to the forefront and what we want designed. Of course, the flow control device on top of the E61 group head, which I gave this idea to another company back in 2015. Okay, so we have our flow control device added, which you can control the flow of the water through the puck. This machine does have a rotary vein pump, which is adjustable by removing the tank and the screw to adjust the pump pressure is there. You don't need to go under the machine or to the side. That was their idea, which is a great feature. Another thing that we liked is these extended valves for the steam and hot water with joysticks. Another premium feature. If you look here in the front, we don't have the typical lever that's on the side of the E61. They designed at Torre the lever that comes forward into the front. And you may say, well, that's not really a great feature. But if you think about it, it gives you a little more room for the hot water wand because a lot of times it hits that lever. So you kind of move away this function away from this other function. Now granted, you will use the uh, water wand maybe for some hot water for tea or, or cleaning the portafilter. But if you're cleaning the portafilter, it gives you a little more room to get to the drip tray. Also, it takes your hand away from that potentially the hot water steam uh, valve that can get hot, okay? Now, you may touch the front of the group head, which can get hot, but there's enough distance here to lift up and start the extraction process, okay? And I think it's a safer, a little bit safer to have it here in the front. And if you can hear the pump nice and quiet, and then you can open up the flow control right from here. And working with them to get this flow control device and this fitting together took a few months. This stuff doesn't come easily. You have a removable drip tray. Uh, this unit is of course in black. It comes in stainless steel, available also in white. Uh, we don't have pictures up as of today, but they are going up very, very soon. Dual boiler espresso machine, okay. Uh, the other thing that we asked them was, it come, the machine comes with a two-hole tip, include a three-hole and a four-hole tip. We asked them to do that for us because you may have an event, and this is going to lay into what makes other machines obsolete. You may have an event to do, a catering, home event, office event, where you can have a lot of people, and a two-hole tip is not going to cut it for the velocity uh, and, and getting larger pitchers of milk. So you have a four hole, three hole, and a two hole tip. We asked them to include that. So you can change it for those different events. And again, we're gonna circle back to this shortly. We asked them to include some back flush detergent. Uh, Pulley makes a very good product. We do sell it on our website. The machine doesn't have any hoses. The feed for the water is at the bottom of the reservoir. So if you see right here, Okay, and this fits right in. So there are no hoses that need to be redirected. Uh, anything from the OPV is gonna come through this little spout behind the E61 spout. There's a spout 
uh, the hoses go from the OPV, from the bleeder valve, safety valve, all will come down into here, into the drip tray. Now the drip tray is not plumbable at the moment, but most people don't plumb the drain anyway, uh, and it's pretty easy to clean. You can plumb in this machine uh, if you like. There is a hose included as well as an external one-way valve. So water from the machine can backflow into your public water system or your well system. So there is a one-way valve on the outside. So you could see that if an inspector comes, he could see it as well. There's a cloth included. This uh, could be a little thicker, but it suffices as a mat or quick cleaning cloth. Now, where we had a little contention with Torre was we wanted the dual spout filter, portafilter, and this uh, bottomless portafilter. And they insisted, as in the beginning and launch of this machine, that they will also include the single spout portafilter and basket. So here we have our bottomless, and I can lock that on. Okay, we have the nice uh, wood feature or accoutrements here. We have the single spout. If you see my other videos, I don't care for single spout uh, shots uh, or baskets. Um, I think you should always make doubles, more coffee, better flavor profiles. It looks like they also include a, a basket that's less deep, um, I think for pods. Uh, if you're buying this machine and using pods, um, it might be good for decaf maybe, but don't spend the money for a machine like this and, and use pods. Unless you're in an office environment and somebody's using ground coffee, but you're wasting your money if you're using pods. But you have that capability here, say maybe for decaf. You have your blind filter, uh, the cleaning detergent, and then you have your dual spout as well. Also included, and if you look here, this tray fits the entire top of the machine. So if you do need to refill, you are removing the entire tray. Above the water tank, it is sealed or has no holes, okay? And uh, I think the reason is you don't want the heat coming out towards this way because there are holes on top of the, the panel here, uh, which we have removed the screws already, so I'll show you. So you have the holes here for he preheating your cups. Now it does take up to about two hours to heat those cups. So there are four Allen key screws that hold this top panel, but as you see, there's matching holes to preheat your cups. Also, if you're putting any wet cups on top, you don't want that water to uh, basically get into your reservoir from those cups. Uh, so some customers prefer the optional, where there's a second section of the water tank, so you don't have to move the cups. But in many cases, to get to the water tank, you have to remove the cups anyway. So there's two schools of thought. As you saw, I took some items off. They include the nice tamper, which we asked them to do, 58 millimeter. The scoop. Basically, uh, the only thing that I can suggest using it is the actual, if you want to scoop coffee, fine. But I actually like to use the handle because I like to overfill my two cup baskets where it's ground espresso coffee. And then I use that to level and take off the excess and, and level it out before tamping. As you've probably seen in my other videos, there is a conspiracy in Italy. As they say in French, voila, here it is. This thing keeps on popping up on espresso machines, these useless tampers. So, use this as a paperweight or a cover if you have a hole in your co uh, computer desk uh, that you want to cover up. Uh, let's see if it fits the other way. No, it doesn't. But again, conspiracy in Italy between this plastic tamper company and a lot of other companies. So now I'm gonna get to the feature that we suggested to Torre to make them come to the forefront and make everyone else obsolete. And it's kind of true. One of the problems with smaller dual boiler special machines is you have two boilers, two heating elements, and typically they're smaller than, the steam boiler is smaller than your heat exchange boilers. And we always advise customers, especially when they come into our showroom or our shop, and even when we talk to them over the phone, when you're using the hot water wand for tea, typically what you need to do is maximize the 
exit of water at about four ounces because you have an internal boiler inside and if the water level drops too fast before the pump can get it back in you have the heating element on the bottom which is exposed to air in the boiler as water fills it can crack that heating element of course there's safety thermostats those are to prevent not the heating element damage but to prevent the boiler from um, exploding or overheating uh, so our idea or my idea and you heard it here first okay because i know uh, there's other companies and manufacturers like to copy things that uh, i suggest um, and what we're calling here is uh, steam pro balance that's what tori likes to call it what i like to call is that you can adjust the water level in the steam boiler from the panel here in the front okay and what do i mean by that so if you're having a party and you need a lot more steam you lower the water level so you have your boiler you lower your water level so you have more air space for more steam if you're going to make more cafe americanos where you need to draw out more than four ounces and that's your typical practice uh, you're going to raise the water level to have less steam because if you're making cafe americanos you're probably not going to steam where you can get more hot water from the boiler now i do suggest the customers use a, a kettle electronic kettle where you can get the proper water but there's customers who don't have space for that so this is a brand new feature you've seen it here first on the tori Pepina evo premium machine and again this is going to be an exciting new feature because again more steam capacity or more water capacity depending upon your needs the other thing that tory did when they thought when they saw this idea and read it uh, from me was they actually created uh, the boiler where you can go up to six bar of pressure with their 316 stainless steel boilers and what do i say 316 because actually 316 is one of the highest qualities of stainless steel that you can get for an espresso machine because there are companies out there who use lower grade stainless for their boilers and it attracts minerals lime scale and so forth or even worse iron buildup um, where the water extracts the iron out of the stainless and makes this brown water and it's actually a pretty famous brand that that's happened to uh, probably to say about 10 or 12 years ago they've corrected it but High quality stainless really, really helps out. Uh, probably a couple downsides to the machine. Again, you can't drain as of right now uh, the drip tray. Uh, if you look at the steaming here, okay, if I want a midsection, it can't hold. So it's full open or full closed. If you need something in between, it's not going to hold. You're going to have to hold the steam knob or joystick in position however this is why we have multiple tips so not just for capacity but the two hole you can have this much steam come out as thorough put if you want more go to the three hole or the four hole so you have more thorough put when you're full open uh, I didn't point out the gauge here that's for the flow pressure control uh, or the full control device uh, to control the pressure. Uh, so these, especially that one feature, these features are really bringing Tory to the forefront. And we, at this time, are the exclusive current importer for Tory espresso machines. And typically what happens, other, our competitors go knocking on the door. And uh, so we try to secure these deals because we want to be able to provide exceptional service levels when it comes to parts and so forth because the one thing we notice is a lot of them sending the customer their customers to us for parts so we prefer uh to have an exclusive deal with the manufacturer uh where we can handle everything pretty much from soup to nuts with consumers as well as dealers as well as customers in an office or commercial environment uh, this is why we try to come to the forefront we don't want to be the biggest we just want to be the best and that's what we aim for if you have any questions or comments please ask down below follow us on the different social media channels facebook instagram twitter 
or X, uh, as well as you can ask questions on our website, Facebook. Uh, if you go to uh, the link on our website, there's a Q&A. You can ask your questions there. But uh, we see an extraordinary value and a really high build quality on the Tory espresso machines. Uh, it's making the others obsolete. Thank you for watching. I'm going to enjoy some cookies now that this video is over. Have a wonderful day. And as we always say, coffee first, everything else second. Take care.